What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And as you can see, I got Live Aquaria up. Now you're probably asking why I got Live Aquaria up. Well, I just ordered a cleanup crew package and I got some fish, so stick around and see what I got. And I'll do a review on Live Aquaria and my uh, experiences with it. The main reason why I'm getting a cleanup crew, is, as you can see, there is just a ton of hair algae on this, uh, on the sand bed and on the tank. Let's kind of zoom in. Yeah, you can kind of see it all on the rocks, just everywhere. And my lawnmower bunny is missing in action. I'm pretty sure he is no longer with us. RIP Fred. So I'm just down to uh, Ted left. Oh look, there's a copepod in the rock. Or uh, infopod, I think. Ah, that's one of the first ones I've seen. Yeah, but you can see it's just kind of all covered. So I'm gonna do kind of like a before and after. Yes, Daniel, I know. I'll do a before and after showing you how much work these hermit crabs and snails and everything put in over the course of like a week or so. Daniel, are you ripping up my magazine? Is that what you're doing while I'm trying to film? Yeah. Look at you. How dare you? Why would you do that? Okay, I'll get back to filming called multitasking, taking care of a, almost a one-year-old and a fish tank. Oh my God. I'm probably gonna have to do something about that because that's where I kind of keep all of our medication, like uh, cold and allergies and stuff. And it's kind of in his reach. So might need to move that in the near future or just kind of get a new desk. Something like that. He likes spinning though. Uh-oh, FedEx is here. That means my package should be coming. Oh, here we go. All right, baby, let's see some of these. Snails, perfect. Viseria snails. Got an eclectic, oh, is it wet in here? I hope not. Fighting conch. Got a little heat packet so that these things don't get a little too cold. Cause they were coming during, you know, like 30 degrees. Trochus snails, loving them. Yes, tiny hermit crabs, and I believe that's it, yep. So let me get these floated and then I gotta open the other boxes. So this should be a striped captive bred blinny. Nice packaging, liking it, it's warm. Yep. He looks like he, ooh, this bag is cold. He looks okay. Well, you can't see it. I'm gonna float him. Hopefully everything works out well for him. No idea what's in this one. I have no clue. I hope this isn't the Midas Blenny. No. It is, which Blenny are you? The harp tail blenny. Oh, he's looking pretty good, honestly. I don't know if you can see that. He's looking pretty good. All right, he's actually warm. That was a good job packaging this one. He's looking pretty good. So that means this is the Midas blenny. Oh, beautiful. Oh, Jesus, he's dead. Is he really dead? That's a, that's a pretty dead Midas Blenny. Let me see if I can save him. Let's come over here, game plan. All right, so it looks like he's gasping, maybe. He is not moving at all. The plan is to, it's not too cold. I think I can just put him in the tank. I'm just gonna get him out real quick. And you're supposed to acclimate it a little bit, but yeah, he is. He's looking horrible. And this is the main reason why I bought all this stuff. Let's see, I'm gonna pour. Yeah, that thing is, gosh dang it, why? He is completely toasted. Well, there's the Midas Blenny. 
dead. Oh, man. man, the main reason why I wanted this was for the Midas Plenty. I wanted a Midas Plenty so bad and it shows up dead on arrival. I didn't think he was really gasping. I think I was hoping for the best, but he's pretty much dead. I got done acclimating the other two. Oh no, oh, there he is. He's up in that top corner. That striped bunny is so weird. He just wants to sit up there and he's definitely not dead. He's just, he's just weird. He likes sitting by that current. Harptail bunny, great. Midas bunny, I don't know if you can see, but his eyes are completely glazed over. He is dead, not breathing or anything. So time to call Live Aquarium and tell them, hey, your uh, Midas bunny showed up DOA, dead on arrival. All right, so talk to Live Aquarium. They said take a picture of it on a white surface and submit the picture to them, and they will process my claim and give me credit for it. They said go through the acclimation process. Well, did but didn't. Now, sometimes if you have a fish that is in a bag, that has been in a bag for a while and it seems stressed, now a lot of that, the pee and the poop since that bag looked super dirty, um, I should have taken a picture of everything, like, a video of me dumping out the stuff. It's a lot of pee and poop. Um, that turns directly into ammonia as soon as it hits the air and it will be toxic to the fish instantly. So, you know, chose to put it in there after temperature acclimating it. Um, I mean, I didn't really need a temperature acclimate. It was like perfect temperature, it just perished. So, uh, it is what it is. The other two lived, but uh, let's get to taking pictures of this. R.I.P. Midas Bunny. Fish are acclimated and doing well. The harp tail bunny doing great. Strike one, he is just kind of acting weird. I don't know. Maybe it's because, I mean, he was really cold, so I had to spend extra time to acclimate him. Um, that, that box was not warm at all for him. It was probably in the low 70s, maybe high 60s at best. Yeah, I mean, it was cold for him. So he's doing all right. I'm gonna, you know, have this uh, tank going, not really put any copper in it just yet, and uh, make sure everything's okay. I'll see you guys in about a week and I'll give you an update on just how well the cleanup crew did on the tank. So I didn't mention that I also ordered 30 Estrella snails and they didn't ship with the original package. I called, well I was about to call and I realized, oh well they're still getting shipped. I looked at the shipping and they just got delayed last night. And of course we have a snowstorm that just happened. Can, that, can you see that? Yes, all that snow. And they're gonna be coming in on Monday and they were supposed to be coming in on Friday. Odds are, I'm thinking we're gonna have some DOAs on this one. So we'll see, I'll let you know on Monday. Plus the tank, yeah, it needs some more cleanup crew because that those little guys didn't do too much already, but hopefully with 30 new snails, might get something done. So my 30 Astrea snails came in. Let's unbox them and see how cold this temperature is. So I opened it up and this is freezing. I mean, I don't even know if these are gonna be alive. It's so cold, it's like 50 degrees. I mean, that's cold to the touch. I'm gonna acclimate them quick, put them in the tank, float them for like, probably 25 minutes because it's that cold and then see how many are alive. So while we're waiting for the snails to acclimate, it's time for Daniel to take over the fish room and knock over all my filming equipment. So it's been about 25 minutes of temperature acclimating and oh my God, look how cloudy that water is. I'm afraid to open this. There's gonna be just a death smell in here, isn't there? This is gonna suck. Time for a smell test. Oh, Jesus. Yep, that is just as bad as you guys think it smells. That is horrible. Oh my God, that water. Oh, Jesus. There's no way any of these are alive. No way, oh man, that stinks. Next bag. Smell test. Yep, pretty bad. Oh my gosh. I would be shocked if more than five of them are alive. 
All right, well, I put him in with a little bit of uh, tank water, so I'm gonna let him sit for about five minutes and then put him in. The plan is to set them somewhere in here. I'm gonna move that snail shell. That way, if any of them move, I know they're alive. But I'm pretty sure they're all dead. <laughs> Trying to keep a baby away from me acclimating these snails that are most likely dead. I haven't seen one of them move and I've been watching them for about eh, seven minutes. I think I might have one. Ah, oh, the... The vacuum. All right, well, the vacuum fell. I think I might have one with two that are alive that are moving, I can't tell. So I'm gonna give them another 10 minutes and see what happens. I'm gonna add a little bit more tank water. So I placed the snails in here, the ones that I thought were alive because these didn't even have any snails in them. Um, it still smells like death, just straight up death. Um, I don't think any of them are alive. I took a picture and I'm gonna see if they move. If not, I'm gonna call a uh, live aquarium and let them know. I mean, Temperature acclimated them for 25 minutes, put them in um, tank water, well, slowly acclimating them in tank water for about 15, 20 minutes, and then I didn't see hardly any of them stretch or move or anything. So I'm gonna wait, probably a half hour, see if any of them have moved, and if not, I'm calling Live Aquaria. Again, because I'm having like an entire shipment dead again. Nothing against Live Aquaria, but this was definitely, um, the shipping's fault because that water was like 50 degrees. It was so cold, nothing was gonna live in that. So after an hour and a half, there's no movement on the snail front. They are probably all dead. So gonna call Live Aquaria and let them know that the package arrived DOA again. And hopefully, well, they're just gonna probably credit me, but it kinda sucks. If they would've shipped out with the original batch, they would've been fine, but because they got stuck in transit and they shipped out a couple of days later because they didn't have enough quantity of them, then they ended up dead. This is not gonna work well for my nice montage of all the different, uh, like the before and after pictures of all the hair algae, but whatever. Call Live Aquaria now. Another before picture. This is it a week later. This will be one of the before pictures. And a week later. And the last before picture. Let's hope these guys did some work. A week later. Well, you guys can see that not too much change has happened um, with the cleanup crew, mostly because I got all these snails, these Astrea snails. Um, I got 30 of them and I was hoping to put them in and you know, they kind of all died. Um, there might be one. I think this guy might be alive. And that's about it. Yeah, you can kind of see, even though the, sh the shells are, have moved around, they're all dead, mostly because the current has picked them up. But I gotta give a shout out to Live Aquaria. They refunded me my, um, my order, no questions asked after sending in the picture. I mean, you know, nothing's surviving in 50 degree temperatures. But um, I think I'm going to place another order for, you know, Estrella snails. The problem is I gotta spend 75 bucks in a cleanup crew package. And I really don't wanna do that because I only need 30 of these guys. I don't need to spend another like 40 bucks, but I'll probably end up doing that and get some more cleanup crew and maybe have like a plethora, who knows? But that's the plan. So, you know, my experience with Live Aquaria, not bad. Um, good customer service, and that's all you can really ask for. Not their fault that the package got delayed a day by FedEx. So make a lemonade out of lemons, I guess. But overall, the tank, you know, I think the algae will slowly work its way down, but nowhere near where I want it to be until I get all my uh, snails in the tank. But yeah. All right, guys. So that's all I got for you this time. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Give me a like if you like the content and I will keep on updating you on the tank and you can see these fish are going crazy right now. They think I'm feeding them. I already fed them twice today. But all right guys, I will catch you later. See ya. That Zoa garden is looking so nice.